I know I was one of these kids. Do you have kids that hate math? See, I loved math growing up. For some, math homework, though, can be a dreaded battle, as Shauna knows. But in today's fresh idea, this may help your kids change their tune. Here's Mark Cabell. The circumference of a circle divided by the diameter of a circle. Brian Fetzer loves mathematics. I think mathematics is fun. It's it's joyous, it's art, it's beauty. Fetzer's been teaching at the university level for nearly two decades, and he's always surprised by the number of students who hate math. So now he's singing some different tunes to try and change all that. Fetzer's taking a break from teaching to share the music of mathematics. Third tone of the scale, then the first tone of the scale, then the fourth tone of the scale, and so on and so forth. So the melody is actually the digits of five. As complex as it may seem, he hopes these songs will make math simple for kids. I like the Pi song because I, I didn't know what Pi meant before we came to our school and I did that. The math concerts are becoming popular at elementary schools. They came home and said how much fun it was, and they've been singing the Pi song all the time. In fact, they enjoyed it so much, these kids came to watch Fetzer at the fair. It's great and it's cool. Fetzer says he has songs for all math levels. So they're for young people, they're for older people, they're for people who have been frightened of mathematics, they're for people who have always been intrigued by math. While making math a hit can be a difficult undertaking, these kids may be proof it is possible. Because he sings cool songs. That's how I learned my times tables. They had my third grade teacher had a, had a record or something. It's like a local version of Schoolhouse Rock. It is. It's perfect. Bit. So you see, I can write music with numbers. And a lot of musicians think in terms of numbers. Well, what if we take a specific number like pi and write a song with the digits of pi? Could we do that? Yes. Certainly we could do that. See, all we do have to do is number these tones. One, two, three, four. And so wherever we see a three, we put the three tone. Wherever we see a one, we put the one tone. Wherever we see a four, we put the four tone, the one tone, the five tone, the nine tone, and the two tone. Well, what does that sound like? Well, let's, let's listen to what that sounds like. Point one four, one five, nine two. These numbers they begin high. Three point one four, one five, nine two. Like finding some bright keys to the sky. Three point one four, one five, nine two. The numbers they go on and on. Oh. On and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, forever. 3.14, one, five, nine, two, these numbers, they begin high. Archimedes, Euler, two. Isaac Newton through and through Oh, Einstein, Gauss, Ramanushan All saw windows that opened With 3.141592 These numbers, they begin high Oh, ho! These numbers they begin high. 3.141592 
Like finding some bright keys to the sky